Hi there. One of the real risks of uh, finding and restoring vintage cast iron, unfortunately, is the possibility that any vintage pan may have been used for melting lead. Now, cast iron does not contain lead in its actual structure, and that includes cast iron made in China or Europe or the United States or anywhere. But, during the past several decades since these pans were made, who knows what they could have been used for. Even today on YouTube, you can see many videos where they are melting lead in cast iron pans, and that includes muffin pans or skillets or even whole Dutch ovens, usually to make fishing weights or other lead trinkets like that. So because of this, we have to consider the possibility that any old pan may have been used for melting lead. Now to be fair, the odds of these pans here being used for melting lead are extremely small. It's not really likely, and I don't expect these pans to have lead. However, you never know. And that's why we test these old pans for lead, just to be safe, and if we feel we have reason to be suspicious. And in my case, I get suspicious almost always when I run across one of these muffin pans here. Because these pans in particular are very popular for making lead weights and lead sinkers. They are exactly the right shape to make round lead ingots. And that's the reason why I'm using a lead test now on this particular pan. These lead tests, however, they do cost money. This lead test cost me $10 at Lowe's Hardware. While that's good for uh, testing any particular pan for lead, but this pan comes with two lead tests. And of course, the lead test only works once. So what if you have more than two pans and you want to test them for lead? Well, here's a way around this. What I'm doing here is opening up this lead test and we can see on the inside, here are the two parts of this lead test. You're supposed to break them and shake them together to mix the two liquids. Instead, we are releasing this onto this little piece of cardboard here so that we can use a cotton swab to soak up the liquid and use that instead to test a pan for lead. And as you can see, it works. When we rub the swab on the sample card, the liquid immediately turns pink or red when it contacts the lead. And just as important, so does the swab itself. So now we can use this swab to test different parts of this cast iron muffin pan and see if any of it is contaminated with lead. And fortunately, the swab does not turn red. When we compare it to the swab that contacted the lead samples, as you can see, there's no trouble at all seeing that pan does not have lead. And then from here, we move on and test, of all things, a cast iron waffle iron. Even though it doesn't seem likely a waffle iron was ever used for melting lead. Definitely not. Does not have lead. So far, so good. Still no sign at all of lead. And if we want to be absolutely sure, let's take the other test. So far so good, it looks like none of these have lead. So it's still safe to put these in the lie tank. And it also suggests how we may be able to use these cotton swabs to test for lead with more than two pans. So that's also good. Hope this helps. Thank you for watching.